Excuse me, car 11. Let's see here, we're getting this set up. Car 11 is going to be on... Red for 10 uh, by <clears throat> owner entrant John Schoen. Uh, if I'm pronouncing that properly. Yep. Uh, From Holland. Holland, here we go. Holland entry, GT class entry. Let's put 10 laps on and see how she goes. Right away I'm going to say it's a, it's a very good car. Lots of grip. Very quick. Lots of top end. I'm going to be quiet here for a second and see what I can get out of this car. It's a bit sideways. Well done, John. Provisional pull. 638 with an 8. Quick wow. cut. Uh, planted. Uh, loves to change direction overall. Hell of a car. Hell of a car. Should be a really great racer. Let's see what this thing's made out of underneath. Here, what we've got here, ladies and gentlemen, is what appears to be a stock fly 911, uh, one of the racing chassis with the sprung pots. Uh, could be a uh, slotting plus or a Vaunt motor in this, I'm not sure. It's, a, it's an Avant. An Avant motor, there we go, green can Avant boxer motor. Uh, like I say, well done, well balanced, not overly heavy, drives really well, no chatters, no vibrations. This is gonna be a good one. Wow. 6.388, car number 11. Car number 37, Alpha 33. What appears to be a slot it uh, by Dr. Diff. Here we go, we've all seen Dr. Diff's posts on uh, SCI. Let's see how one of his cars goes around the Race Haven Hobbies track in Brampton, Ontario. 10 laps qualifying, here we go. Go, Doctor. We're being very familiar with the slot it's. Uh, given that we race them here every Friday night almost, uh, I can tell you right away this one needs the braids fluffed a little bit on it. Uh, it will pop the front end up a little bit in the air, but I definitely sacrificed that for good contact all the way around the track. Uh, let's put it back on and uh, see what we can get now that we've got nice continuous power. Manageable, quick, not a whole lot of acceleration, but definitely not lacking in any given way. Could use slightly more rear end grip. I feel like it's got the weight bias more to the front end in the car than the rear end. On lap nine, we're going to drive her around to finish the session. Not too bad. One of the slower lap times of the session, but definitely not too, too bad. A drivable car. Uh, I feel like it's maybe got a slight out around tire condition. Uh, if you can see here, Dr. Diff on the front wheel seems to have trued uh, uh, the two ridges, but not quite the center. Probably looking for some ride height in that situation, but on this track here, that probably right there is going to hurt you a little bit. But oh, again, overall, not too bad. Definitely drivable. We'll see how she does in the race. Still respectable sub seven seconds. 6.791, car number 37. Car number nine. By owner entrant, Redliner. Again, another uh, another entrant who I uh, recently had a chance to drive one of the slotted shootout cars. 
Uh, we're going to see how this GT entry number 9 Chevy Camaro goes around this track. Here we go. Again, the momentum guy. we got a car that is definitely locking in the brakes department, but it's driven appropriately. It can be made to go very quick around this track. A little bit of noise out of the car, but I'm going to say that's just resonance coming from the rock. Not a vibration at all. It feels very smooth and planted on the track. The only camera position I can sit at. <laughs> not bad at all, not bad at all. A, a quick car, a lot of noise, but again, I think it's mostly just from resonance of the body being loose on the chassis. A good tip for that if you're trying to get rid of that resonance in the body is anywhere where the body actually mounts to the chassis use a little bit of thick grease in between let's say the body mount itself and, and the screw that mounts it. So in this case let's say if, if the body mounts by this screw back here a little bit of grease in between the body and the chassis there will act like some dampening and slow down the body therefore reducing a little bit of vibration. But overall very well built car should do well in the race. 6.642, car number 9. Car number 54. Why, well, owner entrance, super slab. Uh, Shelby Daytona Coupe, GT entry. Heavy chassis, but here we go. Let's see how she goes. Maybe courageous choice for a body. My first initial impression is wow. This is a, this is a very good thing. Smooth, quick. Snaps when you jump on it out of the corner. Great car, great car. Uh, lap time doesn't show actually how good the car is. It, it did run a 651, which is super respectable, but great car, planted, uh, stuck to the track, push it harder and harder and harder, just doesn't want a D-slot. Should translate into a great race car. What's underneath? Uh, from what I can see here, what appears to be a kit for metal type chassis, or it could have been completely fabricated. Uh, very tough to say. It looks no, like it's, it's been... a kit chassis for this class. So. There you go. Kit chassis for this class. Van, uh, the ever-knowledgeable Vansky here telling me what, how it's done. Uh, yeah, like I say, a lot, lot of weight to it, but very planted. Really stiff chassis. Doesn't vibrate. Great car. Great car. Nice. Fifth overall. Car, fifth overall. Car number 54. 6.518.